Hey guys, it's Lance at Mac Sound Solutions, and today my Mac Mini made a new friend. It's called the Tiny 2 by Obspot. So the Mac Mini has a new sidekick, the Tiny 2. And Obspot kindly sent me the Tiny 2 and the Power Up Combo, which comes with these accessories. There's a link in the video description with a discount code. This is a pan tilt webcam. It is a little powerhouse. I really love it. I'm using it right now. As you can see, it's tracking me, right? I can stand up, I can sit down, I can move around my studio. Let's go over here and see how well it does. It's following me the whole way. Very cool. I love this thing. I think the video quality is excellent for such a tiny little camera and it features an ultra large 1 over 1.5 CMOS sensor. It's sitting on a tripod right now, but they give you this little clip that sits on your monitor and it's magnetic. So the camera just pops on there and it's nice and solid sitting on the monitor and it has a little flip out. So if you want to extend it out in front of your monitor, you can to aim it down at your desk. The software is extremely deep. You go to the Obspot website and download Obspot Center for Mac OS, and the app has a ton of features. You can turn on some of the AI features using hand gestures or by using voice prompts. Hi Tiny, wakes it up. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. Track me. Unlock me. Okay, camera turns green. No more tracking. Zoom in closer. Zoom out further. Position two. Position three. Position one. The other thing you can do is you can use Apple's FaceTime effects as well. And I've got Apple's blur effect on, which I have to say is better than the Obspot blur effect. So here I am at the Apple headquarters and you can use reactions and things like, oh my goodness, it's raining in here. Time to celebrate. Being at the disco and fireworks, balloons, thumbs up, thumbs down, and hearts. Pretty cool. If you're a live streamer, this is an excellent choice. You can use it with OBS. You can pick this as the virtual camera. It's gonna use the Osbot software settings to go out to the live stream, as opposed to just using the bare bone camera. So when I go set brightness and focus and other effects, that will go out to the live stream instead of it just being a straight up webcam. And you've got complete manual control of the camera if you want it. You can control your ISO, your shutter, speed, your white balance, etc. It's got a built-in audio mixer. You can select your different audio sources. I'm using my good microphone through my Midas mixer back here, which goes into the mini, or you can use the audio mixing mode, which allows you to use multiple microphones at the same time and set their individual levels for your live stream. Okay, so now we're doing an audio test with our different microphones. This is the built-in Tiny2 mic. I've got it set to far. If you set it to close, it gets really low in level. And you can set it to standard, but I think far is really the only usable setting there. I do not have noise reduction on and I have auto gain turned on. This is without the auto gain turned on. Maybe it's a little cleaner and less roomy sounding. And we'll turn the auto gain on. Now we've got noise reduction that we can turn on as well. We'll put it on weak, but you know, my room is very quiet right now. I don't need noise reduction. So now we're gonna go to our next microphone, which is my iPhone mic. We're gonna mute Tiny2. And now we're using my iPhone microphone, which is sitting on the desk in front of me. Testing one, two, that's our iPhone mic. You could hold it like this if you wanted to, put it on a stand, put it closer to you to get a better sound, but that is the iPhone microphone. Now we're gonna switch to the Obspot HQ mic. If I hold it close to me, it's gonna sound better. If I wanted to get a very good clean signal, 
that's what I would do. But if you're using it for a video conference with several people in the room, you can put that in the center of the desk. And this is my FET 47 Neumann clone testing one, two, three. And of course, it's better to use a good microphone. You get a very clean signal. So always have a good microphone for your presentations. Better audio makes the video seem better as well. And that concludes our audio test. And this thing has a bunch of AI functions. It's got beauty effects. It allows you to like narrow your face or your body or make your nose smaller. I mean, it's crazy some of the stuff it can do. You ready? You might not look at me the same way twice after this. Oh my goodness, I just turned into a lovely princess. <laughs> it's got retouch. Ooh, yikes. Oh, what? I think I have the eyebrows turned on. Scary. They have all kinds of different effects. You can go add eyebrows. You can put on eye makeup. And look at this. I'm going to hit the whiteboard button and it thinks my monitor is a whiteboard. Pretty cool. And we'll turn that back off. So I put the camera back on the tripod and I'm in vertical mode now. So you can shoot in vertical mode, live stream in vertical mode. You can make TikTok videos, you can make YouTube shorts. So you can track in portrait and in landscape. Now I can do a slow pan. Now I got the Tiny2 on my monitor and we're gonna go look at some of its functionality. Here's the software, it's the Obspot Center. And first we go to the settings, the little gear icon, and look at our output of the camera. You can output it in 4K, which means you're gonna record in 4K when you record with the software. 1080, 60, 1080, 30, and down the line there. I've got it set to 1080, 60, and you can have it in landscape or portrait. And then you got your bit rate, high and low, and record format. I have it in movie for QuickTime movies, and you can tell it where you're gonna place your videos, your clips. So I just got it going to movies in my home folder. So we'll get out of settings and you got presets you can store with all your settings and the location so there it goes went over there and now it's back to me i can see using this camera all the time once i get the little box to go into my switcher instead of my nikon because i can position it and they also sent along this little remote you can switch between four cameras have three different camera positions pan and tilt zoom in and out and it's even got a built-in laser pointer i'm pointing it at the wall there you can see it and here's an example of desk mode. I have the camera still on the monitor, but it's now aiming down at the desk, showing what's in my hands. So we got the adapter in that allows you to go from the Tiny2 to HDMI so you can connect it into your video switcher. The cool thing is you can set up your camera in the Obspot Center app and then it'll remember those settings when you plug it in to the HDMI adapter because otherwise it's just gonna be straight up webcam, no camera control at all. I set it to black and white, I set my ISO, I set my shutter speed, and now when I unplug it and plug it into the HDMI adapter going into the switcher, it's gonna remember my settings, which is pretty cool. And the way you do that, if you come over here to the presets, I've got one called Lance here. And then if I say save as initial state, when I boot up the camera, it's gonna remember exactly the last settings that were set. So let's make the switch and try it out. And there it is. It remembered my camera settings and I'm going direct into the switcher. So that is pretty impressive that you can preset the way you want the camera to look before you plug it in to your switcher. It's a shame that you can't have three different color presets. The presets only remember the position of the camera they don't change the color settings. And you still have certain functionality with the camera when it's connected directly to the HDMI adapter. So it's no longer using this software because now I'm going into my Blackmagic switcher. But I can still do a zoom because I have those options turned on 
when I stored the settings. So you can save all your settings, like your voice commands could be saved there, your hand gestures, it's sort of like use one or the other. And of course you have the remote. So I can use position two on the remote, but I was also able to do that with my voice. I found if you hit the desk button, it resets the camera. So when I come back up, it looks different now, right? Because it just reset the camera and put it into full auto mode. Very impressed with this little guy. And it works great going into a video switcher. Big thumbs up for the Tiny 2. I'd like to thank Obspot for giving me this camera to check out. I love it. I'm gonna be using it all the time in my videos going forward. I can retire my Nikon because my Nikon doesn't autofocus. So I'm gonna switch to the Obspot Tiny 2. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, give me that thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.